You know what time it is. It is what it is. Your boy Musa back at it again. Today's video reaction is on Colleen Ballinger, aka known as Miranda Saint. I don't know if you guys seen my first video I did on her about all the scandal that's going on, about her history and all that. So, if you guys haven't seen that, I'm going to leave a link below. You could check it out. And these, basically, what she's being accused of is pretty big deal. You know what I'm saying? And she's being accused of sexually grooming, assault, and basically using her victims, using her fans. You know what I'm saying? So basically, if I don't know if you you guys haven't seen, those who haven't seen the first video, I'm going to give you just a snip summary. Basically, she being accused of using her audience, right? Her fans, right? Did she basically had them on a group tax, um, which they were at the age of 13 going up, where she used them to edit her videos. Um, she had an appropriate conversation with them, talking about, you know, sexual body parts and so on and so forth. She was talking about her relationship, how she wanted advice from these kids and, you know, wanted to see their private parts and all this stuff going on with these kids. You know what I'm saying? And I, she used them in ways like it just doesn't make sense for an adult to do. You know what I'm saying? And at this point, all her victims is coming out and accuse them for what they did to them because what she did to them and this has caused an emotional trauma to them and at this point they're not feeling right and they have receipts they have facts and to be honest with you, i never thought she was going to respond at all to me um based on this video from what i've seen on twitter and other social media platform the way they commented on this video how bad it was if I were her, I would never respond. I would have just kept my mouth shut. I don't know if she had a PR team or she didn't. But somebody should have should have advised her to not even do it. To not even respond. Keep her mouth shut and just lay low. Don't do anything. So we're going to find out why. <laughs> why she was being ripped to shreds about this video called High. So we gotta check it out. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video reaction, take a few seconds, subscribe, comment, like, and share, and click the notification bell, and join the family. All's welcome. Shoe, love, shoe, sport. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, don't tell me she just pulled up, pull out a ukulele. To be honest here, do not tell me she buy the sing, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, it's been a while since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true though, just as long as it's entertaining. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Listen, man, we're gonna play detective right here. Y'all just say what she just said. She didn't. To me, it's kind of saying like, what they say is kind of true, but they didn't say the way it's supposed to be. She said they say a lot of things about her that's not quite true. Quite true means half of the stuff they say is not true, but the other half is true. That's what I'm getting. That's my opinion. That is what I'm getting. I don't know. Let me let me wind that back a little bit for y'all, man. matter if it's true though so a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true it doesn't matter if it's true though just as long as it's entertaining to me what do you mean it doesn't matter when it's not quite true but as long as it's entertaining so is it true what are you saying but as long as entertain what <laughs> right you guys having fun all aboard the toxic gossip train You're chugging down the tracks of misinformation The toxic gossip train You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station Toxic gossip train You talk about one-way train to station manipulation Right now I'm being manipulated at this point <laughs> I'm a victim <laughs> Yo, I'm being manipulated listening to this BS. You serious? Come on, bro. 
this this is not way about it to be honest with you because at some point in life when you know you wrong you wrong wrong is wrong her first statement saying she, they say a lot of things that's not quite true but it don't matter if it's true as long as it's entertaining that's red flag red flag red flag so is it true or is it not true because based on that sentence or the vocabulary she just stated right there she's inciting that it is true but it got to be more entertaining what station manipulation what the hell's that hey, tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past these rumors look like facts if you don't mind the gaps i won't survive in the crash but hey at least you're having fun. Uh, hi everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. So that that kind of made no sense. I think your team should have just stopped you from uploading this damn video to begin with, first of all. Your team should have just stopped you from uploading this video at all. Because I believe this video just hurt you even worse. It made you look guilty. Because clearly, there's not even a response. There's like you making fun of the whole situation. There is no sympathy. There is no more you you showing like there's no sympathy you showing there's no emotion you showing at this point to state that yo i'm wrong i was out of line maybe that's what she should have done she should have just came on this recording tearing up talking about how she's sorry she didn't mean to you know what i'm saying maybe she let the fame get to her head that she's gonna hold herself accountable any way she could help her victims out or her fans out for the damaging that she has done to them. And I think she could have saved a little bit of her face and her career. Not to the level it used to be, but she could have saved something. But instead, she came on here making a song talking about they saying a lot of things that's not quite true. But as long as it's entertaining. It don't matter if it's true, but as long as it's entertaining. What? Are you serious? I am, and um, today I only want to talk about the facts. So let's hear the facts. I hope that you'll be willing to listen. We want to know the facts. Here we go. Many years ago, I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way, where I was just trying to be besties with everybody. <laughs> I'm dead, bro. She said. Not in a creep away, but a lose away. <laughs> nah, bro. Oh, that's crazy. It's kind of like uh, when you go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there who keeps coming up to you and going like, hey girl, what's the tea? And you're like, ugh. Um, that was me, but in group chats with my fans. It was weird. I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you, and because of that, I feel like I'm talking to my friends. But in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. You think there should have been boundaries? There should have been. It should always be boundary with whoever you deal with. You know what I'm saying? There should always be a boundary. You never respected these children's boundary. You never set up a boundary. If you knew there was 13 and you're trying to be one of them or someone you claim, you also got to put in mind you the adult, they're children, they're minor. You know what I'm saying? There's a certain conversation you can't have with them. They come into you as fans. You engage to them, you engage with them as fans. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to understand, you are PAD down there. You know what I'm saying? So you have to come, engage with them in a way of respectable wise as adult talking to a child you have to engage with them that level not saying that you you thought you want the same level with them you want to make it wait were you that lonely that you wanted to be their friend so bad come on yo that's ridiculous bro
There were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. To be honest with you, her making this response is kind of making her a little, little guilty. The more that I'm watching this, the more I'm realizing she actually did what she did. She's being accused of, of doing. You know what I'm saying? She stated she was in a group chat with these kids who there were 13. You know what I'm saying? She also stated she was also having inappropriate conversation with these individuals who are minor, who are kids. She also stated she never set up boundaries. She also stated that she was sharing too much. And she also stated she was being that creepy aunt. That's crazy. So clearly, all stating that is what her victim's been saying is true. Because she's not denying it. Even in the beginning of the video, it just ticked me off. She said, it's not quite true. But if it's true, it don't matter. As long as entertaining, that just irked me. I don't know, man. I don't know if you guys feel the, what I'm feeling, but it just irked me, yo, for real. But clearly, this video is making her look guilty because she's not denying anything. From what I'm watching, she's not denying anything. She just basically admitting to a kill, talking about I held myself accountable. No, you didn't because you're not showing no sympathy right here. You're not showing the wrong that you have done. Or the damage you have caused. I don't know. But that's not very interesting, is it? So let's go on the toxic <coughs> gossip train. The locomotives fueled with hateful accusations. The toxic gossip train. Steamroll over someone's reputation. Toxic gossip train. Hop on board. I ain't gonna lie, though. She, she, she kind of can't. She could sing, right? And also, I ain't gonna lie, the song is kind of catchy, you know, Toxic. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of a little catchy. I, I'm I'm, I'm gonna just say that, it's kind of a little catchy, but it's ridiculous, man. The statement that she's making right now, man. For real. Lord, but close your eyes, otherwise you'll realize that the train is made of lies, and that person you despise maybe didn't deserve to die, but hey... Wait, she's saying what he's saying is lies and maybe they despise her, but why would they despise you if they are your fans? That's what I want to know. You get what I'm saying? Maybe there's more to the story than me say I, right? Maybe you did something way more, something else that they, it made them to despise you. Maybe ask yourself that. Why are they despising? What did you honestly do wrong for them to despise you if you're saying you claim what they stating is a lie at this current moment. So you should think about it. I don't know. I don't think like she really sat down, really think through her action, her decisions, how she treated this individual, you know what I'm saying, in a group chat, how the conversation, the promise she made. You feel me? I don't think she's really looking through that because I feel like she got to put herself in their shoe and how they felt to really understand them. I think she's not doing that. I think her celebrity level, who she hold herself to be and all that, she's so up there that I think she's just not recognizing anybody below her. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what it is, man. The fame got to her head. At least you're having fun. In all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, you should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. What mistake, bro? I'm sorry, guys. I think I'm pausing this video so much. It probably like <laughs> we probably not gonna finish this video, bro. She's talking about. I hope everybody admit to their wrong, hold themselves accountable. Accountable for what? We, are, yo, you being called out for the things you are doing, for things you have done, the hateful act you have done, the crime you have committed. You hear what I'm saying? Not me stating, but what you being accused of. And you talking about who told the cannibal? Who is this individual with no name? Who with no name? Because if you want to tell somebody or you want to tell your viewers 
everybody needs to hold accountable. Say names. Do not generalize the situation. Say names. We want names. Drop names. You talking about entertainment? Make me entertain because I'm not entertained, bro. <laughs> we want names, bro. Stop with who hold accountable. Hold yourself accountable first. This is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes. And it's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to take accountability. But that's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize. Wait, wait, she said, <laughs> if you want me to hold accountability, your mob mentality is not where you're going to make me hold accountability. <laughs> Yo, she's tripping, bro. Ties their demise. Yeah. Um, I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that all of you are perfect. So please criticize me. Bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. I'm sure you're disappointed in my shitty little song i know you wanted me to say that i was 100 percent in the wrong well i'm sorry i'm not gonna take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout hey everybody i found someone new to harass she did some things that i do not like in her past so everybody gather hey, first of all i mean clay this this not being right a response i think it's a joke um i think she's making fun of all this situation one thing i said in my first video and i said i think i said in the beginning of this video as well i think like the character miranda singh that she's been playing for so long has become her new persona the who she is at this point uh which is a jerk so yeah she's a jerk so yeah that's the character she played and I think she plays so well that that's the character she is at this point. And I don't think she know how to turn that off. So I don't think she ever going to hold herself accountable. Or she basically what I'm sensing, she's never going to see herself doing anything wrong. You know what I'm saying? So are we to expect any apology from her? Probably not. Not at all. Um, but it's kind of crazy how far a person is going. <laughs> I'm just saying because this is just ridiculous, man. I don't know how to feel, but to laugh, man. To laugh at this situation at this point. Um, yeah. I don't know. Around because we're about to attack, but not based on facts. Oh, no. Your loaded lethal weapon is your fingers on the keys. You don't need any armor when you can hide behind a screen. So shoot me down quick, click a click, and bam. My reputation's deceased. You know one thing that's sad about her situation she did admit to the truth because she kept stating that oh you guys are just holding me accountable or blaming me for something i did in my past that's the truth right there she just admitted she, she did it basically she's saying all the stuff that you guys assume i did i did it but that was in my past that wasn't now that was in my past you can't hold me accountable for my past situation because i was a kid too because i was that creepy aunt i thought i was one of them guys i was with them you feel me you feel me like we rolling out here you know what i'm saying she thought she would you know what i'm saying she she with the squad she with the 18 right you know what i'm saying smoking mirrors man but <laughs> bro she that's what she's saying that i think what we i think what her victims need to do is pinpoint she won the date you saying the past i will apologize for the past but right now on the future right now i'm not gonna apologize for nothing because i ain't doing nothing right now I'm, i did something in the past so i held myself accountable for the past but right now i'm not holding my accountable because i did it in my past that's what she's saying that's what she's saying she admitted it like like i don't think she she really Think it through when she came on here, bro. Because you blame me something I did in my past. But right now, I didn't. I didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, I 
also wanted to take a minute to talk about that girl Miranda sings. You know the one. Yeah, her. Uh, she's PG-13. It says that on my website, and it's always been that way. And that's why you won't find my videos on the YouTube Kids app. Anyway, um, I didn't realize it was my responsibility to decide what was appropriate for every kid to see. I've always relied on parents to decide if they're comfortable with their families watching my YouTube. First of all, she said she didn't get to decide what's appropriate for kids to see. First of all, yes, you did because you created that content. You brought that idea. You know what I'm saying? Um, two, you said it's PG-13. Okay, cool. Um, first of all, like, for example, when you do YouTube, right? YouTube state that, hold on, this content that you're doing, is it for kids or is it not for kids, right? You click no or you click yes. So you kind of, in my book, you do decide, right? Um. Your Miranda sing, it's not for adults because I'm an adult. I'm not going to see because I don't find it funny. I, I've seen one video of her. I thought it was funny. It was not funny at all. I couldn't even sing through to watch it. I, I was cringing the whole entire time. You know what I'm saying? Um. So clearly, kids will love this. They will laugh at it because it looked dumb as hell. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um. So yeah, you, you, you decide. You came up with that idea and you did it and it built success. So you did decide. So stop with a cat. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video reaction, take a few seconds, subscribe, comment, like, and share, click the notification bell, and join the family. Also welcome shoe love, shoe support. Guys, comment below. Let me know what you guys think, man. At this point, yo, what do you think is really gonna happen? The cancer culture is gonna get involved and handle this the right way, or what, man? To me. Is there any lawsuit going through this? I don't know, bro. I don't know because this case, this whole situation is so super complicated. I don't know if there's any lawsuit that could possibly happen or may not happen. I don't know because it's, it's very complicated, man. Two videos are coming to my live shows. Now, have I made some jokes in poor taste? Yes. Have I made lots of dumb mistakes? Yes. Am I sad that there are some fans who feel betrayed? Yes. But was my intention to manipulate? No. It doesn't really matter what my intention was, because it's... First of all, she said, was it my intention to manipulate? No. Have I disappointed my, <laughs> some of my fans? Yes. So it wasn't your intention to manipulate it, but you do know you did manipulate it. So you manipulate them without intent. <laughs> it just happened. Pretty much just what she's saying. It wasn't my intention, but it just happened. It just happened. I just manipulate them without it wasn't my fault. I wasn't thinking when it happened. It just everything just fell in place. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what she's stating, bro. That's what she literally stating. Seems as though everyone's already decided on that. Let me tell you, it's not very fun to have millions of people all over the world call you the most vile, horrendous, disgusting, life-ruining words that a person can be called, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't matter that these things aren't true. Uh, everyone just believes. First of all, this this is my issue with her. What do you mean it doesn't matter if it's true because everybody believes? What do you mean it doesn't matter? It does matter if it's true. Because it's true that it's stating that you did this act. You know what I'm saying? This is what happened. You hurt this individual that supported your career. You know what I'm saying? That watch came to your show, got your parents to pay all this money. And they come in and say, listen, man, the way you, you dealt with me when I was a child, the way you communicate with me, the promise you made, you did not hold on, you have traumatized me, you hurt me in so many ways. And they tell you, you sitting here saying, I don't, it doesn't matter if it's true or not. So technically, you don't really care. You don't care about the truth. You don't care about the facts. So I don't know why. So what you want to say it wasn't your intention to play this ukulele. It just happened. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. That you are the type of person who manipulates and abuses children. So 
So I just wanted to say that um, the only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. I'm not a groomer, I'm just a loser who didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans and I'm not a predator even though... Wait, you're not a groomer, you're a loser. You should never respond to fans. Bro, you, that's cap. You were adult. Kids are groomed, are raised to respect an adult. So automatically, and you're a celebrity. If you're a celebrity and you have, you have fans who love you and who adore you, and you tell them to do a certain thing, they're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because they respect you. You have power over them. And every great power comes with a great responsibility. You wasn't responsible with your power. You used that power and you took advantage. To me, that's what I'm just noticing. Basically from the video, based on your response. You took advantage of it. You recognize that. You register it. But you do not want to stay. You do not want to hold yourself accountable. That's what I'm seeing. And it's just crazy, man. It's crazy. Well, a lot of you think so. Because five years ago, I made a fart joke. This video won't change anyone's mind about me. I still felt it was important to come on here and defend myself a little. This was not defending. If you knew this video was going to change nothing, you shouldn't have made it. I don't think this video was defending at all. It was, to me, what I'm getting is you admitting to the truth. You're just saying is, it happened in the past, and I didn't intentionally manipulate them. It just happened. That's why I'm getting from this, man. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong, but that's my opinion. That's what I'm getting from this. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know why this video didn't help you. It's hurting you. And if I was your PR, I was in your PR team, my word of advice is don't talk. Lay low. Don't even move. You know what I'm saying? Go to the, uh, the mountains and go meditate somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And really think about your actions. You know what I'm saying? Really think about which you honestly did to these individuals for them to get this way. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody is going to come out of nowhere and hate you for no reason. There got to be something you did that triggered that hate. Or trigger the way they feel emotionally or internally. So you got to figure out what you did within yourself. And if you know you did something wrong, hold yourself accountable. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's you being a dope. But you can't come up here and talk about toxic train and something, something, something. That, I don't even know, bro. And you take accountability. And I also wanted to say that to anyone out there who has ever supported me in any capacity, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. What it's worth. Never had any bad intentions. But I do feel like shit. You know, one thing I'm going to say is right out, I could see a little tears in her eyes, some emotion there. And I think that's what she should have started with is being real, being herself. I saw a little glimpse of herself, the real her coming out. Because if you're feeling the way you're feeling, then that's guilt. That's knowing that your emotion telling you something's wrong. You know what I'm saying? you having a weight on your chest, a pressure on your chest. Something's bothering you. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think it's what they're saying. But I think, and we, deep in your heart, you know, maybe you were out of line. Maybe you should have set boundaries. Maybe you should hold yourself accountable. You know what I'm saying? And I think she knows that, but she's too proud to accept it and admit it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think these individuals who are speaking out have any bad intention of want harm to happen to you or, you know, want to ruin your life or anything. But they just want you to hold accountable and apologize and admit to your own. That's it. You know what I'm saying? But... I don't know. Sometimes people are too proud to admit their mistakes. And one time I say she she better not wait too long 
to come out and apologize. Don't wait too late, because then nobody's going to believe that your apology is real. The toxic gossip train Jogging down the tracks of misinformation Toxic gossip train You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station Toxic gossip train You tied me to the tracks and harassed me for my past Rumors look like facts when you don't It's kind of crazy. She said toxic gossip train you tie me to the track and hold in my past. Meaning, bro, she just admitted it, bro. I don't know what to say. She literally just admitted the truth. She said it happened in her past. They're not accusing you of now. They're accusing what you did to them in the past. That is the truth. That is the truth. They just said, admit to what you did to us in the past. You saying you hold what they holding your past against you. They're not talking about now you're talking about your past. You no, you said, hold on, hold on. I'm losing thought right now. I lost my thought. You said something that happened in your past is something that happened to your past. No, they talking about the past. They ain't talking about now. You admit it to the truth. Come on, girl. Stop. Stop with the cap. Mind the gaps. I won't survive in the crash, but hey. Hope you had some fun. Actually, you know. Yeah, I thought she was done. <laughs> she said she about to hit some crash, bro. You made some money. I hope you saved the money to survive. You know, to live on, you know, and live good. You know what I'm saying? Because the career is done, bro. It's done. I'm telling you. It's done. I mean, is there a way she could save it? Yes, there's a way she could save it. But she can't create the same content she's creating. And she's probably going to lose most of her fans. I'm going to just say that. And she's not going to have the type of success she had before. That's what's going to happen, you know? I feel like maybe I should. You guys know something. Um... Seems like maybe you're confused about something. I don't know. Let me try to help. Um, sometimes people make a mistake and it doesn't make them a horrible person. Whoa. Sometimes people can make a mistake and they're still a good person. Crazy. I know. Sometimes people can make a mistake and you don't have to take that mistake. Oh no. What do you mean? <laughs> what happened to the toxic gossip train? And are you talk about sometimes people can make a mistake and it doesn't make them a bad person. <laughs> Yo, maybe my words got to her, bro. I don't know. Maybe my words magically went back to the past to this video and got to her ears, man. Oh, and twist it up and grind it and add some lies to it and pulverize it and stab it with knives and ruin a life and... Oh no, sometimes people can make a mistake. It doesn't mean you gotta send them hate. Oh no. Sometimes people can make a mistake and you can kindly let them know and help them to grow. Sometimes I think that's what's happening. They're helping you to grow, hold yourself accountable, admit to the truth, admit it to your wrong. You know what I'm saying? You say you made a mistake, now apologize. Hold yourself accountable. You coming here is talking about toxic gossip train and it's all a bunch of lies, it's not really helping you because first of all, you're denying the truth, then you're admitting the truth, then you're saying it's this, then you're saying you intentionally didn't do it, and you're saying you were a creeping in. I do not know what it is you're trying to say at this point. Are you admitting the truth? Or are you saying it's all a lie? Or are you saying it's a mistake? Or are you saying it just happened in the past, but it's not happening now? Like, what is what? Like, what is your point? I just don't know what you're trying to state. These people make mistakes simply because they made a mistake and that 
mistake doesn't make them a terrible human. It just makes them a human. So what do I know? Fuck me, right? Hold on. She said they make a mistake doesn't make them a horrible human, but it makes them human. That made no freaking sense, but um. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if you guys find this ridiculous the way I find this. Um, to be honest with you, I think this video just really hurt her career at this point. I think she probably lost like thirty percent of her fans from this video alone. Um, like I said, I don't know what whether she had a PR, PR team or didn't, but if she did, they should have just locked her in the room and said, "Do not respond." Do not say nothing. And she did. And at this point, she kind of admitted and said it's in the past. And she said, ain't nobody saying now that you did any act now. They're just saying what you did in the past hurt me. You feel me? And you need, you need to hold yourself accountable because you're not holding yourself accountable. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to tell other people to hold yourself accountable for their mistake, but you not consider yourself making a mistake, holding yourself accountable. You're saying you made a mistake. Okay, hold yourself accountable for it. Apologize to this individual. You know what I'm saying? And let them know you were wrong. You, you wasn't mature at that time. Show some sympathy. And you're not showing none of that. And you talk, it's just, that's when this is just ridiculous. I mean, listen, man, if you guys want me to follow up with this story with more information, guys, comment below, let me know. Let's get this video to a 5,000 likes. You know what I'm saying? Let's get 100,000 views on this, man. On some real, let's get these numbers up. It is what it is, though. But anyway, guys, comment below. Let me know what you guys think, man, about this whole situation and then how you guys feel about this, man. You feel me? Do you think, like, everything she just said on this video is capped or what? Because I think it's 100% capped, bro. Because I don't believe none of it. You know what I'm saying? Talking about toxic, toxic. Gossip train, bro. It is what it is at this point. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, react to the case again, subscribe, comment, like, and share. Click the notification bell and join the family. Always welcome. Shoot love, shoot support. Musa out.